Hello, my name is Siobhan Sweet and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm going to show you a really, really quick chocolate cake. Now I won a photograph competition and so many of you have been asking me what was the recipe, how did you do it, so I thought I'd make a short video. And the reason why is because my daughter invited me around to her house and I only had an hour and a half to make a quick cake. So I literally threw it together. Um, anyone can do this, so it doesn't matter if you can't bake, you can do this recipe. So let me show you how we do it. We've got some cocoa powder. Now, important point, top tip, always sieve your cocoa powder because it creates lumps in there. So all the ingredients will be down below and they'll be on the video as well. Put your cocoa powder into your machine and then you're just going to add the water to it just to bind it together. powder and the salt and we're just going to add half of that to the mix now. So we need to be quite quick with this because we're using baking powder. Baking powder only has about 10 minutes uh, and it'll start to activate. And if you leave it longer than that, it'll start to sink. So we're just gonna fold the last half of the flour through. And again, always make sure it's sieved, and that way you're gonna get a nice light sponge. I tend to find it, it works better if we fold the last half in, rather than mix it on the machine, because what you can do is overwork it, and you're not gonna get a nicer rise. So the cake tins I'm using today are loose bottom ones. I quite like these. These are my new tins, actually. They are double non-stick, but I think it's a habit. I always cut a little piece of paper and stick that in the bottom. I just find it easy when it pops out. So we're just going to line up the butter lightly and the edges. I don't put paper around the edge because once it comes out of the oven, it's going to shrink very slightly and it'll just pop up. So we're just going to place those into our cake tins. Now I've got the oven set at 180. Now if you want the absolute perfect looking equal cake, you could put these on the scales and weigh them. But as it was a very quick cake, I'm just gonna divide it between two. Just flatten those out. They will find their own level in, in the oven. Some people put a divot in the middle and a hollow. You don't need that. The cake will find its own, own height in the oven. So just blend that round. I'm going to pop those in the oven for about 30 minutes. So that's ready now. And what I did for the last 10 minutes, it's been actually 40 minutes now. I covered it with tin foil because I didn't want to catch on top and it wasn't quite done. So when you do cover it with tin foil, don't take them out of the oven. Put the tin foil into the oven on top of them and then just close the door. Obviously, you're going to check with the skewer to make sure it's cooked. It comes out clean. So we're just going to put those onto a cooling wire. Leave those to cool and then I'll show you how to ice them in a bit. So now our cake is cool, let's put it together. So I'm just going to take one and turn it over and then we're going to make the buttercream. Now this is a little bit different, I'm using some butter, some chocolate and just top tip, don't heat your chocolate too much just till it's melted, otherwise if you put it in there with the butter then the butter's gonna melt. If that happens, pop it in the fridge and stir it every two or three minutes until it thickens up again. And then we've got a little bit of icing sugar to go in as well, just to give it that bit of sweetness. It's really important that your butter is soft. cream ready. Just give that a good scrape down and then we can pop that onto the cake. Just use your palette knife and give that a quick spread round. Now it's up to you, I've got some lovely green pistachios here that I sprinkle through mine. I just think it's nice for the colour but you can just use it plain or whatever you find in your cupboard just sprinkle in there. Then place the 
top on there. Now this is a nice tall cake because I think it's really nice tall. You could make a little bit less mix if you wanted to. And then we're just gonna pop this last bit of icing on top. It really is a quick and simple cake. You can knock up in no time at all. So just finish off with some lovely pistachios on top, just for the color. I like pistachios because it gives it a nice crunch. And then a little bit of grated chocolate, just on top. So there we have the perfect, quick and simple chocolate cake. How gorgeous does that look? And I've actually got my cup of tea waiting here for me my knife to slice so thank you very much for joining me please put your thumbs up if you like it and i'll see you on the next one ready for a slice of cake now